Welcome back fellow gamers. Today we will be discussing tips and strategies to earn you the most gold using herbalism. Now, remember every server is different with prices on the auction house, so I'll be giving you a spreadsheet to let you view and help you calculate exactly how much gold you can earn. Let's get to it. First, we should talk about each herb. Ashar's Veil, Twilight Jasmine, Heart Blossom, Cinder Bloom, Whiptail, Stormvine, and Volta Life. Where they are found and what they are for. Ow. This is what Ashar's Veil looks like. Ashar's Veil can be found in Oldham, Twilight Highlands, and Tolbarad. Sometimes underwater like you see here. Uh, it's used in, again, uh, inscription in alchemy, inscription for ash and pigment and burning embers. In alchemy it is used for transmute ocean sapphire. Uh, the elixirs it's used for is the cobra elixir and the naga elixir. It's used for two flasks, the flask of draconic mind and the flask of the winds. And it's also used for several potions, the potion of concentration, potion of illusion, and volcanic potion. This is what uh, Twilight Jasmine looks like. Twilight Jasmine can only be found in Twilight Highlands, so it's kind of a rarish type herb. Uh, it's used in alchemy as well as inscription. As you know, uh, it's used in inscription for milling the ashen pigment and burning embers. In alchemy, it's used to transmute demon's eye. Uh, it's used for the mighty speed and master elixirs. For flasks, it's used for the steel skin and draconic mind flasks. And potions, it's used for the mythical healing potion. This is Heart Blossom, that's what it looks like. Uh, Heart Blossom can be only found in Deep Home, actually, so it's kind of one of those rarish herbs, unlike Cinder Bloom. Uh, it's used in Alchemy and Inscription, both. Inscription for milling for the Ashen Pigment and Burning Embers, of course, again. And uh, in Alchemy, it's used for Transmute Inferno Ruby, one of the most common. It's used a lot. You can make a lot of money using this herb with that Transmute. Um, it's used in three elixirs, the uh, Deep Earth Elixir, the Impossible Accuracy Elixir, and the Master Elixir. Uh, it's used in the Flowing Water Flask. Uh, it's used in the Golem's Blood Potion, the Deep Home Potion, and the Treasure Finding Potion. This is what Cinder Bloom actually looks like. It can be found in Deep Home, Twilight Highlands, Tolbarad, Aldum, and Mount Hyjal. It's probably one of the most common finds that you'll probably stumble upon. Um, it is also a fun fact about it is, is it has a 49% drop chance from fiery minions in Mount Hyjal. So if you're farming for some cinder bloom, maybe look into that. Uh, both professions it's used for, again, is uh, inscription and alchemy, milling for ashen pigment and burning embers, and then alchemy it is used for transmuting ember topaz. Uh, it's used in several elixirs, the impossibly impossible accuracy elixir the Cobra Elixir, the Ghost Elixir, and the Prismatic Elixir. It is used in two flasks, the Flask of Steel Skin and the Flask of Titanic Strength, and several potions as well. It's used for the Draught of War Potion, the Mythical Mana Potion, the Volcanic Potion, and the Treasure Finding Potion. Alright, this here is what Whiptail looks like. Whiptail can be found in Aldum and Tolbarad. It is used for uh, alchemy and inscription, as always, inscription, ashen pigment, and burning embers from milling, of course. Uh, it's used for the transmute amber jewel. It's used uh, for one elixir, the prismatic elixir. It is used for the titanic strength flask and the flask of the winds. Uh, text message, yay. <laughs> Um, it's used for the Mighty Rejuvenation Potion, the Mythical Mana Potion, the Tolvier, Tolvier Potion, and the Treasure Finding Potion as well. This is what Stormvine looks like. It is found in Mount Hajal and all throughout Vastir. It's used for several items within Inscription and Alchemy. In Inscription is used as all herbs are used for milling, ashen pigment, and burning embers. In alchemy, it is used for transmuting dream emeralds, for the two elixirs of mighty speed and the naga elixir. It is used for the flask of flowing water, and it is also used for several potions, the potion of Tolvir, the earthen potion, treasure finding potion, and the death blood venom potion. Alright guys, so here we have the uh, spreadsheet I've been talking about. 
Uh, at the top of the screen in orange is the instructions of use, and in the blue is just some key information to help help you with all the math that I'm doing and everything that's going on here. So uh, yeah, uh, just a quick tutorial on how actually it works. We're gonna go and we're gonna look for a server. Let's go with Drac Theron. We're gonna hit find. All right, so we found a Drac Theron right here, and we're gonna follow it over. All right, and we've got a uh, 1.5k profit on the hoard, which is, isn't so bad. I mean, 1.5k in an hour—that's not too bad. But if you look at the alliance profit according to their server, uh, you would actually make 9.6k. So it's not like terrible for all servers, and it's not this great for all servers. Uh, a couple up is actually Dragon Ma. Dragon Ma makes 3.7k alliance profit, but only 1.3k profit for a hoard. It really just depends on how your server goes, and you can explore all the different videos. I mean, herbalism can be great for one server, but mining can be great for another. It just depends on what you really want to do, what professions you have, and what's doing well that day or that week on your server. Alright guys, this is Silver Gaming here. We discussed how to exactly make a bunch of money using herbalism across all your servers. Everything you need to know, what the herbs do, how they work, where to find them, and how much exactly they're going to give you. All right, and sign out today. I'm gonna try something.